lovelies! I hope you're all well. So today we're going to look at print and cut. Now I've done lots of tutorials on print and cut, but I know a lot of you were saying that you kind of wanted a series on it. So you wanted to go through all the printables and all the different ways to use print and cut. So that's what we're going to do. So first of all, you can see I'm in design space. I've got an image here and I've got some text. So this text is Agency FB and then this one is Samantha. Now I've already gone in and got the text how I want it and I've welded it together. And I will include a tutorial below so that you can see how I do this. So in terms of the image, we're going to go to Design Bundles. And you can see there's this beautiful, beautiful sloth bundle here. Now this is actually free as part of my Membership Plus, but it will be available to buy if you're not a Membership Plus person. All I'm going to do is download now and it will then download it to my computer. Once it's downloaded, I can come back into Design Space and I'm going to go to Upload. I'm going to go to upload image, I'm going to browse for the image, I'm going to choose the image I want to upload and we're just going to click open. Now because I'm doing it as a print and cut I want it to be exactly as it is so I'm saving it as a complex image so that we don't lose any of this detail. We're then going to go to continue. Now you can see it's come in because it's an SVG, it's already come in ready for me. But say I had an image that wasn't an SVG, you can come in and you can just remove the parts you don't want. So for example, if I didn't want the eye, I can just click on that and remove it. If I want to bring it back, I can just go to undo. So once you've got your image how you want it, we can then go to continue. And you can either save it as a cut image or as a print and cut. And we're going to save it as a print and cut. So I'm just going to change the image name to sloth. And you can also put your own tags in there as well. Once you've done that, you can then go to save. Once it's saved, we can then click on it and we can insert images. You can see that our image then comes in, we're able to unlock it, we can completely change it, we can rotate it. There's a lot that you can do with the image. So as it stands at the minute, this is just cut, so it's going to be cut in vinyl. And then this is a print and cut, so it's going to print our image and then it's going to cut it all the way around exactly as you see it. But you do have some other options. So let's just hide the text a minute. Say for example, we wanted a sticker and we don't want the sloth cut out, we want a circle cut out. So we're going to get a shape, let's just get a circle. And we're just going to bring it over so it's slightly bigger. I'm going to change the color of it to white. I'm then going to go to arrange and move to back and I can then bring my sloth in and work out where I want it to be. Now if I leave it like this, it's going to just cut a circle out individually and then it will individually cut out my print and cut. They will go on separate mats, but we want them together. So we're just going to highlight and we're going to come down to flatten. So what this does is it then turns it into one complete image. So it will print out our sloth on a white circle and then our machine will just cut the circle out. So that's another way of being able to do it. So let's say I've got some text and I want my text to go in there as well. So we're just going to bring our text onto our shape. It doesn't have to be a circle, it can be whatever you want. 
and I want that to be printed but I still only want my circle and I also want to change the color so I can come in I can change the color of my text I'm going to highlight all of them and then I'm going to flatten so it's going to print out my sloth and my text but my machine will only cut out my circle so as I say you can have a play you can work out how you want it to be it's completely up to you so I'm going to leave this as just a cut and I'm then going to cut it out in vinyl and with this one I'm just going to leave it as a print and cut so I've already brought it in as a print and cut and I don't need to do anything to it and it's going to go around and it's going to cut the complete outline. The one thing you need to remember with print and cut is that it does have a size limitation. So the largest you can do in a print and cut is 9.25 inches by 6.75 inches. That is the largest that Design Space will currently allow you to do. Now there is a hack to this and I will do it in a follow-up video. I'm not going to do it today, but I will show you how you can get around this to do a larger print and cut. But in terms of Design Space, the largest you can do is 9.25 inches by 6.75 inches. So you do need to bear that in mind. And obviously if I'm working with images uh, that are smaller than that, I always try and do several images on one page and then I'll keep them for when I need them. That's always handy to kind of think ahead so you're not wasting lots of printable vinyl or sticker paper or whatever it is you're going to work with. So we're then going to go to make it. You can see we've got our print and cut and then we've got our vinyl cut so we can then go to continue. Now I'm working with the maker today but it's all the same, it doesn't matter what machine you're working with, the steps are the same. Now it used to be that when you got a new machine you used to have to calibrate it, you no longer need to do that, all the machines now come ready calibrated for print and cut so you just need to get started straight away, you don't need to do anything. We will look at doing a video on calibration because sometimes you may find it's out slightly um, and it may not be cutting the way you want it and so then you will need to recalibrate but again we will do that in a follow up tutorial. So we're then going to send to printer. Now I use a Canon MG5700 series, I love this Canon, it is brilliant. There are so many good printers out there, the one thing I will say is if you're going to invest in a printer, you want to make sure that it will handle all the printable materials that you want to use. You can get printable vinyl, printable sticker paper, printable iron-on, light and dark, you can do printable fabric. Now in terms of today we're using printable vinyl, you can get this in both inkjet and laser, we are using an inkjet today. Now you'll see there is a bleed option here. Now if we have flattened our image, the bleed is not there, so you don't need to worry about that. But because we haven't flattened our image and it's going to cut all the way around, you do have the option to have the bleed on or off. So you can see it's currently on and the image looks slightly blurry. When you print it out, it will have a blur all around it. Please do not panic. This is basically just a buffer for your machine. The machine, when it cuts it out, will remove that buffer area. I personally like to have my bleed off. It's just the way that I like it. But you can have either or. Once you've got your settings the way you want it, we can then go to print. So I've got my Cricut printable vinyl here. It's got a plain white side. 
and then a gridded side as well. You want to make sure that you are placing it in your printer so that it prints on the white side. So you can see that it's now printed out. Now you want to leave this for a good 10 minutes to dry because inkjet is ink so it will be slightly wet. I like to leave it just so it can dry itself out for a little bit. Once this is printed, I then need to choose my materials. I'm going to go to browse all materials. I'm going to come down to vinyl. And we are actually using the Cricut printable vinyl today. So we're just going to click on that. And then that is our cut settings all done. Once it's dry, you want a green mat. And you want to place your printable vinyl so that your image is exactly the same on your physical mat as it is on your virtual mat. I like to go in with my fabric brayer and just make sure it's nice and adhered to my mat. And you'll also see that there is a black rectangle all the way around my image. We actually need this. This is the registration marks which allows your machine to actually pick up your image. So it's going to scan for this box and then it will be able to cut out your image. You do not want to remove this. So I'm going to pull Place the mat in the machine. I've just got a standard blade in here and as I said I've got it set to the cut setting printable vinyl. If you're using an Air or an Air 2 you just need to move your dial around to custom materials and this will then allow you to find the printable vinyl setting. We're going to load it into the machine. We're then going to press our flashing C and you'll see a light comes on in this white box. This is the machine scanning for our registration marks. Once it's finished we can then remove it from the machine. We're then just going to get our weeding tool at a corner and we're going to come in and just start gently pulling back. Now you may need to help it a little bit but generally it will just pull away nicely. And you can see just how beautifully that has cut. In terms of the vinyl, I'm actually using this brushed rose gold from MDP Supplies today. I will link to it below. It is an outdoor suitable vinyl and it's up to five years outside. It is so, so beautiful. So to get my setting for the vinyl, I'm going to go to browse all materials. I'm going to come down to vinyl. Now normally I would choose metallic vinyl however this brushed vinyl is very very similar to Cricut's adhesive foil and so that's what I'm going to cut it in because it's pretty much like for like um, in terms of the consistency and the thickness of it. So I am actually going to use the adhesive foil setting. <laughs> vinyl here and I've also got some reusable transfer tape and you're just going to transfer it exactly the same way you would with vinyl. So we're just going to go in and roller it from the front and then from the back and we're then just going to peel the backing away. We can then come in and place it where we want to place it. We're then just going to give it a quick scrape and we can then come in and remove our transfer tape. Now you may find on your transfer tape you end up with a outline of black ink. That's absolutely fine. I mean you're bound to get a little bit of pull off but it doesn't actually affect the colour at all. If you are worried you can either manually place it using some tweezers or use some paper transfer tape.